Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dion back with the daily lineup for today, June 26. Um, we're gonna try to jump into this right away since uh, it's already 2:57 in the afternoon, uh, and I'm trying to put this lineup out. You know, give it some time so a lot of people can get to view this uh, before lineups lock. Um, right now, uh, we like Anibal Sanchez. Well, I do. Uh, I think he's a solid GPP play against a White Sox team. That has been struggling to put up runs as of late. They do they do hit righties better than uh, lefties. So, I mean, that's probably their biggest struggle facing a bunch of lefties. But I think Annabelle, I think Annabelle has the upside for uh, for a few Ks, probably 7 to 8 Ks. He's went 7 innings in his last 5 games, and he has 3 wins in his last 5 games. So, three that's 3 wins in a row, man. Uh, he had back-to-back. We can go look at that right now. So that's just showing you that he's getting the run support, man. Detroit is putting up enough runs for him to get the support, and he's doing pretty good with it. So um, I definitely like him, man. He went seven. He won at least seven innings in his last five games. So shows you he's promising. The only only concern I have with him is uh the walks, man. Any pitchers giving up four walks, man. I'm, I mean, the White Sox are not that patient of a team, but uh, Annabelle has just been known to walk a few people, so. I'm not all the way comfortable with him, but I do like him for a GPP play, man. He's not horrible, man. I could actually even upgrade him to uh to Ross. I might actually do that. Tyson Ross, who's been pretty solid. Um, he's in he's pitching in the uh pitcher's ballpark. Um, and he's going against a Diamondback team that the only reason why I don't want to play Ross is because I mean Arizona was just in uh. Colorado, so you know once you get a little rhythm going, it could carry on. So it could be kind of streaky. So that's the main reason I didn't want to play him. So, uh, but right now I'm like an Anibal Sanchez for the upside. Then next we like I like Derek Norris. Uh, he seems to just hit lefties pretty well, man. He's batting over 300, 313 to be exact against lefties. He's just a pretty uh pretty solid play, man. Not much to complain about. Uh. San Diego's been hitting better as of late, so uh, his upside is pretty good. Um, might not hit a home run, but if he gets on base one or two times, and uh, some uh, some of the dudes behind him in the order just just uh, to hit him in, get him some uh, runs. I definitely think he got the upside. And twenty eight hundred, it's kind of a steal for a dude batting three hundred against a, a lefties and Robbie Ray, who's pitching over his head, over his head. And he hit a home run off him last time they played, so. The same might repeat again. Who knows? Uh, then next, I like Big Big Poppy, David Ortiz, man. He's just been consistent all season against uh against righties, and he's in a he's in a pretty decent uh ballpark for lefties. Uh, right now he's batting. Th- he has a 3.92 WOBA, uh, 150 WRC. That's where the runs created. A 2.53 ISO, man. That tells you all you need to know. That means he's that's isolated power, man. So that just tells you, um. ISO power over 200 is pretty solid, but to have 253 is pretty good. So that shows you he's hitting righties with a lot of power, man. He get um he gets Alex Colon, who's giving up a 345 batting average. He's giving up four home runs. The FIP is at 7.35, uh, 2.63 home runs per nine innings, and this is versus lefties at home, man. So uh. Definitely, man. Cologne is somebody you definitely want to target against, especially with some lefties. So, I like the matchup, man. Uh, I like the matchup for Ortiz, man. Big poppy. So, let's move on to Robinson Cano, man. Uh, Cano, he's been starting to uh, get into a little rhythm. Earlier in the season, he was just horrible, man. Um, he's still not getting it, getting you a whole, a whole bunch of home runs, but the uh, the batting average has increased uh, a lot, man. Um he he's have he has seven hits in his last uh ten games and three of those three of those uh seven games he had double digit hits. He actually hit a home run within um he is he has hit a uh, home run in his last five, so um I think he's pretty solid. We can look at his game log. It's not too crazy, man, but um definitely like this man. And those hits have been doubles. Three of those uh seven games have been doubles, man. So definitely like that upside man. Uh so that just tells you, man, he's solid for maybe two points with a bunch of upside if he hits a home run or he gets uh, the doubles and whatnot, man. And he's going against Matt Shoemaker, 
who's get who has a 5.23 FIP. He's given up two home runs per nine innings and the 55, 57.5 uh, left on base percentage and 25 earned runs versus lefties. So I definitely like Robinson Cano in this matchup against a below average righty or just average righty, if you want to call him that. Um, so, yeah, we're going with Cano. Uh, the next, we like Luis Valbrena. This guy is like a headache sometimes, man, because it's almost like he's home run or bust a lot of the times. He's not really a... He doesn't really bat for average. He just bats for power, really. So it's either he's going to get you some uh, home runs. Maybe he'll go one for four. And that's like, that's the downside to playing him, especially at this price. I don't like him at this price, but I'm all for uh, Astros stack today. And I think uh, while Brain definitely goes yard today against Evaldi from the Yankees, who's given up a 6.31 ERA on the road. Uh, the bat a bat average of three eighty nine. Uh, t- the the whip is at two point seventy two, and uh, four four sixty six bat average on balls in play. So that means if it's not a strikeout, dudes are batting four sixty six against him. So uh, I definitely love I love uh Valbuena in this matchup, and he's hit basically almost all of his home runs at home. I think it's about eight. I think it's eight of. Hold on, let me see exactly how many home runs he has hit. Oh well, damn. Matter of fact, we're gonna actually check something out. Actually, we have fan graphs. I want. I forgot to write down the actual number, man. Don't don't kill me for that. Um, just bear with me, man. Oh, it's, it's nine home runs. I did have it written down, but uh, I just happened to miss over that. So uh, nine home runs at home versus righties. So. And every single one of them have went to uh, right field. So, you know, he's definitely a pole hitter. That's the downside with him. The shift will probably be to the right almost every time he's at bat. But um, I still like him, man, to go yard against Evaldi. Uh, the next we have uh, Bogarts, man. Uh, somebody, uh, Cologne is somebody I still want to pick on. He does worse against lefties, but he still still doesn't do all right against righties, man. And Bogarts, who's been doing pretty solid as of late, Somebody I could definitely get behind, man. Um, he's j- basically just getting you a hit almost every game. He's getting d- uh, d- multi-hit games. Um, and this is against a below-average pitcher, so um, he has the potential. Look, three, three for five, three RBIs, one run. Um, he's just been pretty solid, man. For twenty-seven hundred, I kind of like him, man. Uh, against a below-average pitcher, man, you can't go wrong. He does have some games where he doesn't even get a hit, but uh. Definitely think he bats high in the order too with uh with um what's this dude uh Dustin Pedroia and Hanley Maris most likely out so um we go we can get behind some Bogarts then Bryce Harper is my favorite bat of the day him and maybe thought about Stanton but the the upside with Stanton is not that high because a lot of these guys don't get on base that much they don't really put up too many runs so a lot of Stanton home runs are like solo shots but um. Bryce Harper, man, this dude should just have a crazy game, the crazy game today. Right now, he's batting 341. He has 20 home runs. And four, the isolated power is 415. A three, 360 batting average on balls and play versus righties, man. And then he gets Harang, who's given up a 314 Woba. The K percentage is, is low. It's at 11%. The 4.92 FIP. And then he's walking... Uh, He's walking lefties about two times a game, man, per nine. So I definitely like this. This is in a uh, hitter's ballpark, a, a lefties dream, man. Um, to get a rank who doesn't really strike out, man. You know that power Bryce Harper is up there, man. I uh, definitely think he goes yard maybe one, uh, for for sure once and maybe twice, man, if, if given that opportunity if they don't pitch around him. So I like Harper a lot. Kobe Rasmus, uh... I just told you guys I like that Houston Astros stack. This is kind of like a value play right here, man. Um, he's been he's been hitting pretty well, man. He does go games without getting a hit, but you see he has the upside, man. And for uh, 3K, can't really go wrong with that, man. Two home runs in his last 10 games, and he gets Evaldi, man. That's the that's the main thing, man. He gets Evaldi, man. I like this. And even if he doesn't hit a home run, I just think they abuse him, Evaldi, today. I don't think he goes past three, four innings, maybe. Um, So, I like Kobe Rasmus. And then next, 
We get Kevin Kiermaier batting at the top of the order against Rick Porcello, who's been pretty trash. Um, right now, Porcello's giving up a 329 batting average to two home runs. The whip is at 1.69, so that's like he's walking or getting a hitter on base over over one at least once per inning. Over once per inning. Um, what else, man? It's just too much to attack with this dude. And he has the and his numbers on the road just aren't uh, are aren't good as well. So and then we get Kevin Karamai, who's just been streaking in his last five games. Look at this: a hit in his last five games and multi multiple hits in three in four of his last five. So uh, it's kind of streaking, man. Gets a below average pitcher. Uh, and this this is the lineup I like for GPP, man. Uh, just stay tuned to my other lineups on Twitter. I usually post on my daily FD lineups. I'll leave the Twitter handle in my in the description above. And let me know what you guys think, man. I'm out of here. Peace.